challenges and constant reminders of doing well in school, we can have a safe future. So students, after all this is over, let us show our deep gratitude to our parents by giving them a hug and a simple thank you that will surely mean the world to them. Second of all, let us also thank our teachers who stood as our second parents. Let us always remember their timeless lessons and shared wisdom because we can never thank them enough for putting up with our misbehavior and most of the time our golly attitude. Even the people in our lives whom we encounter every day, the janitor that we say hi to, the lady guard that we greet every day, and even the small people that we think didn't matter, somehow they inspired us and gave us a motivation to keep hoping for a better future. And of course, let us not forget our alma mater, the SP Montessori, our second home, that served as the cradle of our knowledge, strengths, and capabilities. From this day on, we are a part of history of SB Montessori, a part of history that will never be forgotten. And as Montessorians, let us not forget to look back every once in a while and take a glimpse of the place that we will always love throughout our lives. But most of all, let us thank our Creator, our Lord who made all of these possible, who provided us the will to surpass all the challenges that we face every day in school at home and even in life, who planned on putting us all in this very same room, and who destined for us to become a part of a unified family, the S.V. Montessori family. All those years in S.V. Montessori have been full of surprises, and looking back on those years is very heartwarming. It seems like only yesterday when we were afraid of the new environment that our school has to offer, when we felt too much far away from our comfort zones, when we felt alien, and then an exchange of highs and lows with a stranger changed it all, and we were never the same. We learned to have and love friends who accepted and cared for us throughout these years, who served as our comfort and loyal companion even in times of trouble and distress. Even though we are different people having different ideas, beliefs, and capabilities, here in SB Montessori, we became one and the same brothers and sisters, sharing the ideals of a true Montessorian. And it seems like only yesterday, when we all had a share of our firsts, the first time when we met our first best friend, our first love, our first enemy, and our first class advisor, even experiencing our first grand high school night, where we had our first dance with the one we admire. How about our first field trip, when we had to wake up early and see who got in line first to catch the bus? and our first high school class picture, where we were never satisfied about the way we looked. But who can ever forget the times when we struggled with what to present on stage during programs, when we constantly argued with our teachers when it comes to schoolwork, when half of the class is late and was scolded by Ms. Edna and Sir Ricky, when we failed to pass our projects and assignments on time, when we stuttered during reports in front of the class, and when we mispronounce words and even forgot to speak in English and even have to pay in the piggy bank. How about the times when our teachers forget that we have quizzes? The times when we have to beg for more time in submitting our projects? When we stay late at night reviewing for our exams that we thought were always difficult? And the times when we simply just gather in the library, in the canteen or in the quadrangle, just to make fun of each other, to talk about the future and to plan for it? A lot of things have happened. Most of us still probably remember. Probably others don't. But what matters is that every memory we had in SB Montessori, there will always be a part of it remarkable experiences. And whether good or bad, these experiences will always be regarded as a gift. For it had been part of growing as a student. And every experience from now on will serve as a piece to our never-ending quest for completing a puzzle which is ourselves. And maybe someday, we can be complete, matured, and not lacking, but steadfast in facing life and all the hardships and responsibilities that we must always bear. My dear colleagues, our graduation is not a reason to cry or to be downhearted, for this afternoon is not a reason to say adieu, arrivederci, or goodbye. And even if we stubbornly refuse to let go, 
our time in SB Montessori must come to an end. But like I said, this afternoon is not a reason to say goodbye, but rather to promise, to give an oath, that from this day forth, when we set out the journey towards a vague future, we will strive to act upon and live up to the principles of a true Montessorian. That we will be competent and confident citizens that our country, the Philippines, is proud to have. In tonight's concerted event, let us raise our heads up with our hands held high and reach for the sky. Reach for our dreams and let no one impede us from doing so. Let us empower ourselves through endless learning and be as excellent students as we can be and make our family, our God, our alma mater, and of course, ourselves proud of what we achieved. Even though we thought that was unattainable, even impossible, be proud and say, yes, I did it. This afternoon, my dear colleagues, is a memento of our achievement, a milestone of life reached with hard work, determination, and free will. Today is a chapter of our life novel written, so we must move on and find out what happens in the next chapter. And even if the other characters will not be mentioned anymore, let us not be saddened, because we never know that we might meet greater characters that will bring about another set of ups and downs in our story. My friends, this, is, this will only be a te temporary separation. And from Charles Dickens, I quote, the pain of parting is nothing to the joy of meeting again. So my friends, this tells us to be enlightened with the vision of seeing and meeting each other again in the near future, where we find ourselves independent, secured, and, and successful. And when that time comes, we will realize that our classmate who was once bullied will become the next all-star basketball player. Our classmate, who was once quiet in the corner of the room, will become a journalist in the front lines, keeping us updated with the latest news. And that irresponsible classmate that we have will someday become a college professor worthy of Harvard or Oxford. Isn't that exciting and perplexing at the same time, my dear colleagues? To think about where we'll end up in the future? When we'll meet again? Well, obviously, we can't figure it out. But for now, all we can do is continue pursuing for our dream, to keep holding on to it, to work hard for it. And from Ralph Waldo Emerson, I quote, Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. So my fellow students, from now on let us all strive to make our own mark and icon, to make our own individuality and uniqueness stand out, and lead us to a creation of a path that someday the younger generation of Montessorians will follow, or even create for themselves. My dear colleagues, before I end my address, this afternoon we are dubbed as graduates. So let us exalt for this new accomplishment, and with a smile on our faces, may this inspire us and the others to endeavor for a brighter future. And with a full heart, hope in God, and with our feet still firmly placed upon the ground, while we embark on an exciting new adventure. Carpe diem. Thank you and God bless.